Alright people, I'm going to show you how to set up a ladder with third person controller by Opsiv <clears throat> and a few other things that will probably help you. So when I set this up, it was just like a huge headache. So I'm going to hopefully set this up for you so it won't be. Alright, so what you're going to need first is a ladder. You can grab this ladder off the asset store I believe it's like free whatever I can't even remember what it's called just type in ladder and you find, download this free ladder <clears throat> I'm not gonna go over like installing stuff you, importing you could probably know how to do that on your own alright import the ladder into your scene you're gonna wanna set it up something like this um, the ladder needs a collider I believe so what you're gonna do is come down here to add component type in Oh, I don't type anything in. Just go to physics and click on box collider. Pops this up. You're going to need a climbable object. Just come down here, add component, type in climbable whatever, and click this. Boom. Climbable object. Pulls this up. Make sure you do change this to ladder. <clears throat> um, there's a few other options. We're going to use ladder for this one, though. So these stats here... Are, they're not perfect, but it'll basically get the job done. Let me show you what it's going to look like when I show you how to set this all up. So, <clears throat> out of the box, uh, you're going to need a character, right? Let me let me discuss that for a second. So you can set up this ladder like this really quickly, and then I'm going to discuss the character. Oh, sorry, that's kind of loud. All right, so here's what happens you walk up to the ladder you push F and you climb up boom 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 get over the top so it wasn't perfect you kinda saw that um, uh, stop this anyway you saw it climb up that's what you're gonna do that's what I'm gonna show you how to set up okay what you need to do is first you set up your ladder like I showed you, just drop the box collider, drop the climbable object in the ladder. That's it for the ladder. Set up those things. That you're done, okay, for the ladder. The next thing you need to do is set up your character. Um, once you come up here to third person controller, you go to character builder, you drop in your character, just type in combat, adventure, whatever, it doesn't actually matter. Mine's in the combat. Um, you push build. One of the things that I'll add in here that would be cool, if you ever heard of Fuse, uh, if you don't have a character, you don't want to use the the Ethan guy on the Unity Asset Store, although you can. Um, <clears throat> here, let's go click on my guy. X Marine. Okay. So here's my character. Once you set him up, Oh, sorry, let's go back to this. If you go to Steam, you can download Fuse and create a character there and import it. Uh, once you import it, he's imported as a uh, generic, ob generic object or something. Anyway, you go up to uh, uh, right up here. You go to Select, go to Rig, change it from generic to humanoid, click Apply. Boom, you're ready to use them. Drop them into the tools up here, third-person controller. Bam, character builder. It has to be a humanoid. You build it, imports everything. That's what you first do to set up your character. But if you've already done that, cool. Anyway, you come down here uh, underneath rigid body controller, abilities. So right here, you'll want to set up climb. You'll just click this plus, select climb right there. It'll show up here, right? What you need to do is type in action right here. You type action in. Boom. Action. Toggle down. Button toggle. You don't need to change this to everything, I guess. I don't know. It worked for me. Anyway, that's it. That's all you need to do. So you set up your, your <coughs> ladder like you did here. Boom. Done. Set up your character. Boom. Done. Okay, that's what you need to do there. By the way, all these other, these input names uh, use action. Like, um, 
let's say roll, you're going to type roll, jump, you're going to type jump, fall, nothing, speed change, sprint, climb, action, and a lot of the other ones you put action because it's not in the uh, input. See, input controller, action, um, it's going to be F. Okay, that's not what I was going to show you, but now that we're here, um, this is where some of your, uh, your input, your keys, like your key map thing. Anyway, we'll come back to that. Actually, we won't. Just That's all we need to know for there. Okay, so that part was easy. Set up ladder, set up character. The more a little more complicated part is this here. You click on animator. If you don't know how to get there, go to Windows. Find it in here, animator, whatever. Come here. All right. These two, okay, that's the first part. So ladder, character, this is the third part right here. Base layer and upper layer. What you're going to do is you have to add this climb uh, state is what you call it. Call it a button climb state. They're all states, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to click one of these. You're going to copy it and you're going to double click into this, you're going to pull it up make this a little bigger and just set it up just like this, it doesn't really matter but this is how I did it okay what is specifically important is when you import it here let me show you when you import these third person uh, abilities, okay climb so just select all these right when you bring this over they drop in like this I just dropped all those in okay see as you can see them um, as you can see it says climb ladder right up okay it's all smashed in there together but mine are separated um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this you're gonna come up here you're gonna delete climb oh shoot ah sorry come in here click on this you're gonna delete climb and just put the spaces in here right bam so there's two I just put the zero because I already have one um, anyway you have to do that for all of them and you set them all up delete the climb put the spaces exactly like this you're gonna need that okay I'm gonna delete these because I already have them bam done once you set it all up you're going to want this orange line to come up here. Actually, I don't know if I need to do this, but I did it and it works perfect. Um, so what you're going to do is make sure you can get the orange line. Right click. Uh, make transition, I believe. Pull it over here to this top dismount right. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to select all these. Make a copy right here. Click copy, right? come over here to upper layer and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna create this you're gonna cop oh sorry you're not gonna copy it yet you're gonna copy this first create another one and it's gonna be it's gonna have whatever the copy was of your vault you can choose probably any of these um, let's see what's in here so just that one uh, just that one thing so you're just gonna delete that so once you make the copy of climb, so you make climb, you got to climb one here in the base, and then you go to upper and you make a climb also. Make them exactly the same. So you come to your base, come to your climb, copy all this, bam. Copy it all, right? Boom, copy. Come back over here to your climb one you made in the upper layer, paste it all in here, and boom, you're done. That's it. That's all you need to do. And then push play. It'll work perfect. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's just watch it for kicks one more time. Like I'm saying, so there's really only three parts. You set up the ladder, set up your character, and then set up the animator. So just like that. The animator is probably the more complicated part. The other parts is the breeze. It took me forever to figure that out, so hopefully this will help a ton of people use the third person, third -person controller by Opsiv. Yep, there it was. So hopefully that works.
and good luck.